Hey, this is Dave, and in this video we're going to be working on getting the control surfaces to go in the right directions, both from stick input and from the stabilizer on the flight controller. You know, there's nothing worse than you're out there testing on your Maiden, and you go and flip into stabilize mode, and it's set up wrong, and the plane just takes a nosedive and crashes into the ground. So we want to try to at least avoid that from happening. Of course, other stuff can happen, like maybe you only got one wing. That could be a problem. But anyway, let's get started. This is me, RC. So I've got the plane on the bench, and we're going to go through making sure the control surfaces go the right direction. So I've got the mission planner up here on the screen, and I've got it on the initial setup tab on the servo output page. So let's try the elevator first. So when I'm pulling the stick down, the elevator is going down. That is wrong. It should be reversed. So we got to decide whether we want to reverse it here on the servo output page. We could put a check mark right here on elevator to reverse it. But we don't want to do that unless it's also reversed as far as the flight controller goes. So what I'm going to do is just lift the plane up and down and see how it reacts. Uh, first I'll go ahead and put the radio in stabilize mode. Stabilize mode. Okay, now we'll see how the flight controller reacts when I lift the plane tail up. It looks like the elevator is going the right way to me. Just have to take my word for it, but it's lifting up when I point the nose down. And so that's going the right direction. So we don't want to reverse the elevator channel in the servo output because that would affect the way the flight controller moves it. And it's moving right. It's moving correctly right now. So let's just go ahead and reverse it in the radio. So I'm here on the servo page on the radio on my Tyrannus. And let's see, let's go ahead. We'll enter the elevator channel here and move over to where we can reverse it. This is the direction right here. I'm just going to hit enter and reverse that. Now the elevator should go up. There we go. So it's going up, but when I lift the plane and I'm in stabilized mode, it should go the right direction. And it does. So that takes care of the elevator. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at the rudder. I'm going to move the rudder stick and see which way it goes. So I'm going to go right, and the rudder is going the wrong way. It's going left when I go right. So the question is, do I want to reverse it in the radio or in the servo output map? So what we have to do is still in the stabilize mode. We have to see which way the rudder goes when I tilt the plane. Alright, so it's kind of going to the right when I tilt the plane to the right. So that would be, wouldn't be correct. So it's moving wrong in both instances both with the radio and with the flight controller so what we want to do is go into the servo output map right here and go ahead and reverse the rudder and I put a check mark on there okay now when I move the rudder stick it's now going correctly same direction as the stick and when we tilt the plane if I tilt the plane to the right, the rudder moves to the left. So that is correct in both directions now. So that takes care of the rudder. Alright, now let's check the ailerons. So when I move the stick to the right for the ailerons, the aileron goes down and that's going to move the plane left. So that is incorrect. But do we need to change it in the radio or the map? To find out, we have to check the stabilizer. So I'm going to put it in stabilize mode. Stabilize mode. You can kind of hear it beeping every so often because I don't have the battery connected. I'm just running off the USB. So that's the reason for the beep. I don't know if you can see that, but the aileron actually moved down when I lift the wing up, which is wrong. So since the stabilizer is wrong, and the radio is wrong. We'll just go ahead and change it in the map. So we'll go in here and we'll find aileron and put a check mark 
right there. There we go. Now, let's see how it works with the radio. Okay, so that's correct. When I move the stick right, now the aileron goes up to move the plane right. And let's see what the stabilizer does. When I move the wing up, the aileron goes up. I think you can see it there now. And that is correct. Because it's supposed to move opposite to the direction of the plane. So if the plane is going left, the stabilizer will try to make it bank right. So now that is correct. Now I don't like the way the flaps are operating. Right now, if I move the switch all the way down, the flaps go all the way down. Normally that's the way the radio would be with the switch forward like this or down. I know I can't reverse it in the servo output right here because changing the checkbox on the flaps isn't going to do anything since it's on pass-through. I didn't want the flight controller to be affecting the flaps. You could if you wanted to automate the flaps, but I'm just going to have it on pass-through. So it's going to be all done in the radio, whatever I do. So when I first turn on the radio, I want this switch to be all the way forward or down. And that moves the flaps all the way up. And then I need to just adjust it like that to get the flaps. So it looks like the only problem right now is I need to change the offset. I did, uh, I don't know if you can see here, I did reverse the flaps so they're going the right direction. Right there on the servo screen. So I reversed the flaps, but the offset is wrong because they're too far up right now when the switch is all the way down. So I need to change that offset. Okay, so to fix the flaps, I need to be on the mixer screen right here. This is the mixer screen. And need to go down to my flap channel, which is channel 5, which is right there. Then press enter and hold it. And then press enter again. I'm going to go down here to the offset. Press enter. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring that up to about 50. It's on zero right now. And as I bring it up, I think you can see the flaps over here start to move down. So I'll just do that until I get, that's too far. Yeah, I think 50% is going to be about right. Go a little further. Somewhere around there. I'll just put it on 50. That's a nice round number. Now when I go ahead and move the switch, it's flaps one there. Flaps two. Flaps two. Flaps one. So I just had to reverse the flaps and then change the offset in the mixer. And that took care of it. Now I'll just go ahead and exit out. So now let's set up failsafe for the Pixhawk. And this is going to be a hardware failsafe. It's still going to do the return to home and circle overhead, but it's just a little easier to set up and it works good with the easy UHF. This is the flight mode switch right here, which gives me three flight modes. And then I have a sub mode switch here, which allows this switch to get three more flight modes for a total of six. Now both of these switches are mixed together and they output on channel 6. So I have a video on how to set up these two switches on my Tyrannus radio and I'll put a link to that under this video so you can see how to do it. Now what I usually do is I use a thing called hardware failsafe. And that's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is set actually set uh, your switches into return to home and that's why we had to do the flight modes first. If I go back to flight modes here and I flip these two switches like that puts it in return to launch. Okay so it's in return to launch now so I'm going back to fail safe and I'm just going to turn the throttle fail safe off. Not even going to use it because we're doing hardware fail safe. And now that I've got that set. I'm also going to put the throttle up about halfway. You wouldn't want to do this with your motor and props all engaged, but take the prop off if you're going to do it. But put this up halfway. That's just so, while it's making the transition from normal to fail safe that it won't just stop running altogether. The prop won't stop and the plane won't dip out of the air. 
it'll keep it at least level on half throttle. So what's going to happen is when I press the fail safe button on the back of this radio on the JR module it'll remember half throttle and it'll remember the return to home position for the flight mode and that'll be my fail safe. Return to home half throttle and then the normal fail safe will kick in anyway and control the throttle automatically because it'll be in return to home. So I'll just go to the back of the radio press this button and hold it till I get six beeps like that I don't know if it's three beeps actually I guess and then the failsafe is set okay now I can return the throttle back down put these switches back up like that now if I go back to uh, flight modes here right now it's not in return to home but if I was to cut the radio off like that you can see it automatically pops up here to return to launch automatically and it's going to start flying home now automatically so that's how I do it now I've added an up elevator switch right here on my radio and that's for launching the plane and I'll get into that in another video right after this one because I've kind of run out of time so look for that up elevator video I'll show how to program the radio and then after that I'll have a video up about configuring the FPV system getting that set up the video feed so stay tuned for that and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notify checkbox thanks for watching